Good morning. Happy Friday. How's everybody doing? All right. I hope everybody's doing well and I hope everybody's morning has gotten off to a, a great start. All right. So I'm here to share my morning fitness with everybody. I'm working on core. So let me go ahead and just get started. Right. The importance of having a strong core is that it improves your posture. Also, it um, engages your abdominal wall. <sighs> having a, str a strong core um, has many great benefits. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, for today, I think what I'll do is I will flow through um, a variation of boat sequence with um, a different leg lifts. And the great thing about this is that anytime if you feel like the um, movement is too intense for you, all you have to do is bring your feet down to the mat and do the upper body portion and you get the same benefit. All right, so I'm gonna start now by Lifting feet and lifting heart at the same time, guiding each leg straight, squeezing the kneecaps with the legs straight and keeping heart lifted. From here, I'm going to release my legs and hover in this um, position, which is called a full boat pose, squeezing kneecaps, squeezing elbows and keeping fingers straight and following the flow of my breath. So in addition to engaging my core, I'm also activating hamstrings, quadriceps, even biceps, triceps are engaged. So on an exhale, I'm going to lower the legs and body. I'm actively squeezing my glutes, keeping kneecaps active, keeping elbows active, and just following the flow of the breath. On an inhale, I'll lift my heart and lift my legs. I'll capture the, the, the legs, keeping the heart lifted. And from here, you just flow from, from um, this position and to lower. And when you get tired, bring your toes down and you can do the same thing. And you can even hold the legs to assist. Still getting the benefit of engaging the core. So many wonderful options. From here, you can extend your legs if you want a different variation. You can create a crisscross effect with your legs. Let me back up. Hopefully you can see that. What you're doing is you're crisscrossing your legs and you're just crossing them very quickly, keeping the belly in, keeping the kneecap squeezing. And you can got the legs to rise and lower. All right, so this is a great way to engage the core. From here, I'll bend my knees, hug the thighs. All right, now what I'll do is I'll flow into my inverted posture. And I just wanted to, um, normally I'm doing um, a headstand or a dolphin pose. But another way to invert your body, I'll show you. With the knees bending, <sighs> palms are on the mat. So from here, walk your feet closer to your glutes. And you can even hold, hold your ankles if you want. And then release your ankles. All right. So it's um, easier if you release your ankles, have your palms on the mat. On your inhale, you're going to lift your hips up. So breathe as you lift, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes. And now this is also an inverted posture because your head is below your hips. 
This is called a bridge pose. And in this position, we strengthen the glutes, we strengthen quadriceps hamstrings, all that wonderful blood uh, that is now quite ox oxygen, rich with oxygen <laughs> is uh, flowing towards the head. So, which is a very good thing. To increase the oxygen level in the bloodstream is a good thing. To have oxygen rich blood flowing to the brain is a good thing. So from here, what we could do is we can bend an elbow, tilt to one side and bend an elbow, placing the palm underneath your, your back, fingers uh, wrapping around your side, and then tilt other direction, bending elbow, fingers wrapping around side. And this just engages the spine a little more adding more flexibility into the spine also strengthening the arms and shoulders a little more because you're supporting some of the weight of the body so just keep breathing deep and from here if you want a little more you can bend one knee if you want more you can bend the other knee from here I'm guiding my knees to my chest, rotating the position of my hands. Now my fingertips are by my glutes. And now I'll straighten one leg, toes flow towards the ceiling. Straighten another leg, toes flowing up. Keep your glutes active, keep breathing. So this is another way that you can invert your body. And when the body is inverted, your nervous and circulatory system are receiving many benefits. From here, I'm going to bend both knees, guide my knees to my chest. I'm breathing deep. And now I'm going to move my hands towards the sides of my body and lower all the way down. Letting the feet connect with the mat, relaxing arms that are at my side. Excellent flow. Now I'll guide my knees to my chest. I'm breathing, crossing ankles, pressing the, allowing the knees to flow towards my chest. I'm gonna rise up to an, a seated position, lifting up my heart. Ah, great flow. And I tell you, when you invert your body, it really just wakes the body up. It gives the body more alertness. So I encourage you to try that. All right. So another thing that I'm going to um, um, share with you is that I will be participating in a, a, a yoga um, event with um, some of my wonderful friends in India. And that starts on September 20th. And it's funny because it's called, it's a winter uh, event because in India, and I'm, I'm always a student of, of yoga, always learning. So in India, winter begins on September 21st. So although I'm located here in the US, I'm going to participate and I'm just so happy and honored that they asked me to participate with them. I'm the only um, yogi here in the US that will be participating. And um, so I'm quite excited. So um, stay tuned um, uh, to check up because I'll be posting more information about the, um, the event so you all can participate too. It's all about keeping your body healthy, improving health and wellness. So everybody have an awesome day and I will check back in on you later. Bye.